Solar power, the ultimate power source. Solar power is probably the ultimate power source in the future. Why do I say that? Because the technology involving solar power is advancing so rapidly and the costs are coming down for solar cells that it soon will be feasible for many people to generate at least a small part of their power with solar cells. Many of the large power companies are investing heavily in fields of solar cells. In one place in the world there is a fish hatchery with all of the ponds covered with floating solar cells. The cost of solar cells is approximately $1,000 per kilowatt. For the amount of power that we use here on our homestead, that would give us an eight-year payback for the solar power system. The other advantage of solar power is that if you don't use all of it, you can feed it back to the power grid and get paid for it. Any homestead solar power system requires a battery backup. Now the old batteries were on a lead acid battery with about a 10 year lifespan. There's new work in developing batteries that are solid state batteries and have a much longer working life. These batteries should be coming on the market fairly soon as the Israelis have developed the technology. Like everything else, Israel developed the technology and China sells it as the product. Solar cells are just one aspect of solar power. Solar power can be used in many areas as a direct source of heat for dwellings. This heat source can be also doubled as a greenhouse and as the warm air in the greenhouse it is moved into the house with a fan. Solar collectors can be set up to collect heat for hot water systems. That is a type of technology that has been around for a long time and in many areas is an excellent source of power and heated water. Using solar power as a heat source with a large heat mass, the heat of the sun will continue to heat your house at night. Now as an aside, I saw a surprising article on a small car that had solar cells mounted to it to charge the batteries. This was not a long-range vehicle, but used for computing to work. The article said that it was seldom needed to be charged at home. I have always considered greenhouses to be a good use of solar power. The greenhouse not only provides heat, but it also provides food. In most climates, a wealth of food can be grown in the greenhouse that is set about seven feet into the ground. This allows the greenhouse to provide nearly all of its own heat even in the coldest weather as heat is moved up from the ground into the greenhouse and the soil in the greenhouse is heated by the sun. With the solar greenhouse connected to your house, a large portion of the heat for your house and most, in most climates will be provided by the greenhouse. In summary, solar heat and solar power can easily become the primary source of energy on this planet. This is clean energy and is a renewable resource.